Hello, thanks for joining. Today we'll see the implementation and demonstration with AWS where we'll use API Gateway, Lambda and DynamoDB services. Our goal is to create a simple API where user will enter or retrieve the customer information. Uh, user will use either an application or maybe vehicle commands to invoke REST API and that will trigger the AWS Lambda function to either retrieve the information or to push the information to DynamoDB and then DynamoDB is going to contain those records. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database service. There could be many use cases for uh, this implementation. One could be we just want to create a simple API that will capture our customer details. Uh, another one could be to channel application logs and exceptions and save them into the DynamoDB. Uh, since DynamoDB is a NoSQL, it is going to fit in all those scenarios wherein our data doesn't have well-defined structure. Um, from learning perspective, we will see how to use and operate API Gateway, how to integrate that with the Lambda function and then how to do API Gateway deployments so that we can start using that into our application or into our curl commands. And then we will also uh, look at the Lambda function functionalities as in how to create Lambda function, uh, how we are going to integrate them uh, with the API gateway as well as with DynamoDB and uh, all of its functionalities like association of Lambda function with the VPC and with the security groups etc. Then we will also take a look at the DynamoDB, we will create a table. Uh, into DynamoDB and then we'll further uh, fetch the record and we'll see a bit of functionality for DynamoDB table also. The prerequisite is a person has to have AWS account wherein anyone would perform all these uh, demonstrations and implementation. Then there are resources available. Please download these resources from my GitHub repository. I will also place this URL into the description. All right, so the game plan is that we'll first create a DynamoDB table, then we'll create a policy and role for the Lambda function. We'll create Lambda function as a third step, and then we'll attach the role that we'll create as a step number two. And then fourth, we'll create API gateway for this Lambda function, and we'll deploy that API gateway. And number five, we'll do the testing. All right, so we'll quickly switch over to AWS Management Console. As a first step, we will create DynamoDB table. So I'll just search for DynamoDB service here. Go into DynamoDB. We'll create a table. We'll give the table name API Lambda DB and keep the primary key as ID. I'll keep the type as a string, but there are other options, binary and number also available. We'll keep everything as is. We'll create the table. So table is currently being created. Once you will scroll down, you may want to take a note of Amazon resource name because this ARN is what we are going to use when we create a policy. So after our DynamoDB table is created, uh, I am currently looking at my Git repository wherein we have a file policy lambda api gateway and cloud watch i'm opening this file and basically we'll just copy the content of this file and we'll create a policy out of it everything will remain as is just at line number 19 you have to replace this text with your dynamo db table arn to keep it simple you can place asterisk also just like this for CloudWatch. So we'll just copy the content of this file and then move over to AWS and go to IAM service and inside IAM service we'll go to policies, create policy, go to JSON, remove the pre-entered 
JSON content and replace it with our policy and remember at line number 19 you have to replace this text with your DynamoDB table ARN once done click on review policy we'll simply give it a name policy API lambda DB and we'll create a policy once policy is created now we'll create a row and that row is going to be for lambda function click on next permissions and then we'll attach our policy policy api lambda db which we have just created go to next next review and we'll name it role underscore api lambda db keep it everything as a simple and create a role once role is created now is the time for third step we are going to create lambda function now so going to the services again and look for lambda service go to lambda right we'll create a function author from scratch our function name we can keep simple uh, just follow the same naming convention api lambda db the runtime node.js 12.6 is totally fine we will choose our execution role that we have created select use an existing role existing role role underscore api lambda db this is what we have created we'll select that and create the function while function is being created uh, we can switch back to our git repository and copy the lambda function code which is inside index.js file so copy all of it switch back to lambda function click on api lambda db scroll down and replace the pre-populated content of index.js file with our index.js file we'll keep everything else as is and save it so now our lambda function is created the next step is to create api gateway and then deploy that api gateway so we will go back to services look for api api gateway all right we create api this is going to be a rest api bill we'll name api as api api underscore api lambda db we'll keep everything else as is and we'll create api now the API is created, we just have to create the methods and resources into it. So first of all, we'll create a resource and we will name it API Lambda DB. I can create resource. Once resource is created, then we can create a method for that. We'll just create one method, post and that's it so lambda function we'll associate the lambda function with with this method of api gateway and we'll save it all right so it is just giving a message that you are about to give API gateway permission to invoke your Lambda function. We'll confirm that by clicking OK. All right, so now API gateway is integrated with our Lambda function API Lambda DB. The next item is to deploy. 
this API which we have created we'll click on actions deploy API let's call it new stage dev environment we'll keep as is everything because those are optional as of now and then we'll go to dev pulse all right so our deployment is done now you can keep a note of invoke url that is mentioned here because this url is what we are going to use when we invoke api gateway from either curl or app or through any other automation process so that's it we'll save the changes all right so after all of this when you come back to your lambda function you will see that api gateway is now associated with the lambda function so uh, reviewing our game plan we have created dynamo db table we have created policy and role we have created lambda function and attached the role with the lambda function we have created api gateway and has deployed api also the only part pending is testing now to test the scenarios there are various ways uh, one could simply use a curl and invoke the api gateway url or you can use some application wherein you will ultimately transform your uh, uh, your fields into curl request and then you can forward it to api gateway url uh, to avoid all of this i have used jenkins and i have used um, uh, those parameters jenkins job parameters to send and further forward our um, our data such as id customer name or customer occupation uh, further to api gateway url so if you go back to the github repository the url which i have also provided into the description of this video uh, there is a file jenkins invoke gateway dot shell so you can certainly use this it is just that uh, this shell script is made to take three parameters only id name and occupation but feel free to uh, just repurpose this script and make changes accordingly switching over to the um, jenkins job wherein i have configured few parameters such as select the operation whether you want to create a record or you want to read or list all of all of the records or you want to delete anything specific or you want to update any record and then we are taking as an input id name and occupation then uh, there is a api gateway url which i have just saved um, as a secure property and then further uh, i'm downloading that shell script from directly from my git repository and then just changing the uh, permissions for that shell script and executing that shell script all right so now is the time to test our implementation uh, we are just using jenkins as an application so please do not confuse as in jenkins is not required for this implementation i'm just using jenkins so that i can pass some parameters i can use a ui wherein i can uh, enter the id name and occupation and then jenkins in turn will be able to forward my request to api gateway uh, to execute this we will go with build with parameters we'll select the operation uh, first we'll populate our data so we'll click on create we'll provide id as one name as charlie occupation let's say devops engineer and this api gateway url is a pre-populated property um, you can simply put api gateway url uh, that we have captured during our deployment um, so once this is done just hit on build so this is all information it is pulling the shell script and now performing the 
execution and finish success so now is the time when we will go back to our aws console to verify whether dynamo db table has got this entry or not so inside aws console we'll look for dynamo db go to tables and api lambda db table and go to items all right so we have got id1 name charlie and occupation is set as devops engineer now we can try performing uh, one or two other functionalities so click on build with parameters let's say we want to delete uh, that record that we have just created if you want to list or read any specific uh, record you can do that um, we'll let's say in this case we'll just try deleting that record and we'll build execution is in progress currently all right so build is done now we'll switch over back to dynamo db and i'll just refresh this and cool the data is gone um, and similarly uh, you can perform the list read and update functionalities also all right so this is how easy it is to uh, implement all of it the amazon api gateway aws lambda and amazon dynamo db in conjunction so if i have helped you today please feel free to like and subscribe the channel and uh, please feel free to leave your comments as a feedback thank you